Uh, did we check to see if the mic was working? Uh, uh, no. Did we? Yeah, yeah, we did. Hey, Yuri, we're doing a stream. Tell us if it's working. Okay. We don't have any viewers yet. <laughs> Goodbye. Ow. Meow. Packs, 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 packs. Everybody. Something. Say something. Say something else to me. Oh, that was not. That actually was not what I was expecting. What? The the song that you're singing. I wasn't expecting that to be the your go to. On the microphone? Up the up. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. How do we sound now? Well. I guess we better get to it, don't you think so? So we picked up a booster box of Zendikar Rising from our friendly local game store, Docking Bay 94. Yes. It's located at Coconut Creek. We um, added some information in the sidebar. Yeah, Hachiko um, offhandedly mentioned to me that maybe people would like to see someone like yourself open up boxes of trading cards and get way too excited over them. Um, so this is a new set for Magic the Gathering. <clears throat> it's in the car, I think. I have already, full disclosure, I have already opened a box of this set, and I got some cool shit out of it. Um, it's got, it's got box toppers, so that's why I want to do another one. Um. But, people, people have been watching Critical open the fucking shit out of some Magic bags. So... I, I guess people... I, I find it entertaining. I know. It's like gambling with no consequences for our viewers. Only consequences for us. That's okay. hot. This is the box topper. Uh, I'm going to open this last. I'm going to put that to the side. Ah! Slap that down nice and big. Yeah. Every single one. The only thing I can actually truly hope for this stream is that someone uh, randomly joins us and learns that um, they're like ASMR erotica for uh, the sound of packs opening. ASMR erotica. Yeah. Okay. Uh, doesn't look too great. Uh, I'll, I'll show off the uncommons and rares, but I'll um, just kind of brush by the commons. It's everything's at a bit of a weird angle. Just because of how I, how I chose to set everything up. Okay, first uncommon. Journey to Oblivion. Vet Friend Adventurer. Um, Malakar Rebirth. Let's see, our rare is Yasharn, Implacable Earth. Ooh. Elemental War. That's hot. Yeah. Is Set that aside, we also got a foil rare. Ooh. Um, first pack uh, Clearwater Pathway and Murkwater Pathway. It's the blue black. I keep pulling the blue black split land. Oh, and the very pretty full art mountain. The the, the full art lands in the set are fantastic. That's gorgeous. Yes. Um, I really I really want the um, I really want to bust open the red green. I play red green all the time. 
So I want, I just want a normal copy of the, uh, the red green flip land. Minting voice, negate, practice tactics, Dauntless Survivor, Expedition Stalker, Vanquish the Weak, Seagate Colossus, Golda uh, Mucklord, Risen Riptide, Marasa Brute, I got the Scion of the Swarm, uh, Rock Slide Sorcerer. Black Bloom, uh, Black Bloom Rogue, Black Bloom Bog, uh, Wayward Guide Beast. That's the rare. This is the the new supposed uh, uh, standard legal Goblin Guide. Um, it's much worse than uh, Goblin Guide. Not gonna lie. Um, it's pretty hard to justify. This still isn't beautiful for us. I haven't seen this one yet. Ooh. This is just going to lead to me uh, realizing my missed calling of being a um, expert on Antiques Roadshow. That's a relic of the old boomer economy. The best part about Antiques Roadshow is they redid like Antiques Roadshow, and um, um, so they they gave all like new updated prices. Oh. So, so there's some things where it's like, eh, it might get you a couple hundred bucks, and it shows you, like, estimated new price, $10,000. <laughs> um. Run by the commons. I'm not, I don't entirely know myself what the, the chase on commons in this set are. I haven't been playing standard lately. Uh, ooh, that's cool. Um, attended healer. Viking shenanigans, Marasa Sproutling, Kicker shenanigans, Kazool's Fury. Oh, it's uh, one of those uh, um, what it, fling effects on the new uh, modular double face cards. Ooh. Sweet. Uh, and then Legion Angel. Legion Angel is a weird card. Um, it's, it's one of the cards I didn't know was in the set before. I um, started opening it. Uh, what it does is uh, when you play it, you get to search your library for, um, for a card named Legion Angel, Angel from your sideboard. No, you don't get to search your library. You get to search your sideboard for a Legion Angel um, and put it in your hand. So it's a format of 4-3 with flying that's card neutral. Um, seems interesting. Um, are you still have to play Night in the Woods tonight after this? Me? Yeah. I'm I'm, I'm right. definitely up for it. Um, I was just thinking, like, is there anything that we're, like, hoping for with this? Because I know nothing about what's going, um, what's going on. There's a bunch of green cards that are mythics that I want, just for my personal collection. You mentioned that in the but beginning. That's, that's about it. Um, there's some good shit in the set. But those are two of the things. Um, what's it called? Ashaya. Ashaya would be sweet. Um, also, the, uh, the land shenanigans card. That would also be sweet. I forget what it's called. Land <laughs> all, the, all the landfall cards in the set have the like alternate um, I like that. borders. It's beautiful. So it's the Akum Halana. Apparently, the, I, I think this card's going to be really good. I saw the Naya Landfall Zoo deck. Uh, Sky Cave Plunder. Brushfire Elemental. Now, this card. This card is... This is the card that almost makes me want to play standard on Arena again. Ooh. I figure stream is like 720p, so what does that do? Um, the brush fire. No, oh, the brush fire? Yeah. Oh, uh, it's a two mana 1 1 with haste. Uh, can't be blocked with creatures with power 2 or less. It's got like the. Uh, that effect doesn't really have a name, but it's got the same little landfall whenever a land enters the battlefield. You have it plus 2 plus 2. Essentially, like in on turn. You play this on turn 2, swing for 1. Turn 3, you drop a fetch, and then swing for 5 with it, if you're lucky. Um, 
see a rare is Shatter Skull Charger, which is just a, a real fun new take on the um, on the good old dash mechanic from uh, Tarkir. Um, it's pretty much the same effect. Uh, you play it, it has haste. Um, it comes back to your hand at the end of turn. Uh, the only difference here is if you pay the kicker, it drops a counter on it too. Uh, and then it doesn't go back to your hand at the end of turn. Oh, and sweet. Uh, we got a foil mountain. Aww. It's a nice Kozilek one. Is that the same mountain we pulled before where you're like, ooh, this is a um, nice maybe, Yeah, it is yeah. actually. Um, this isn't my favorite full art mountain. Oh, but this one is sweet. This oh. is this, this island. Oh, it's like it's um, the famous Zendikar Cup Island, but destroyed with like. Oh no, not destroyed. That's like just a ruined city. They, they knew we liked cups, so they gave they, us cups. They knew we like cups. Yes, they did. Rider. Fincher awaits. This, this card, this card, this card, I think is like the best version of this card, this type of card, the um, commune with nature type effect. Um, you get to dig five deep. You can find a creature. Um, put it in your hand, and, and if you don't find anything, you can just draw a card. So at the very least, it cycles no matter what. Uh, well, well, Once Upon a Time is probably the best version of the card, but, like, mechanically speaking. I always forget what, what Once Upon a Time does. Uh, it's a two-minute instant that says, look at the top five cards of your library. You can put a creature or a land into your hand. Uh, but if it's the first spell you play this game, you can pay it without you can play it without paying its mana cost. Mm. Uh, so free spells are pretty good. Free spells are always good. Uh, another healer. Horn beetle and the rare is free spells right. when you where you can pick what you can play glass even pool. better. Glass pool mimic, ooh, friendly mimic and glass pool sure. Is that a land? Uh, it's one of the modular double double faced modular cards, so you can play it as the mimic or you can play it as a land. Why am I saying mimic when I mean clone? Oh, uh, the garbage cat is here. It's Lady Windgrace. This cat is immense. I don't know if any of you have seen Lady Windgrace on stream before, but she's just huge. This cat has become immense. Ward Windgrace is the only man who deserves her. Too bad he's dead. <laughs> Low Mage's Domination. Low Mage is Familiar. Be in Veil. And the rare is... A Coveted Prize. Search your library for a card. Put it into your hand and shuffle your library. If you have a full party, you may cast a spell to convert. Oh, interesting. That is very interesting. Card I didn't know was in the set. Well, and then this Sexy Forest. I show off the lands more than the other stuff. Seam roll mage. Oops. Oh, boy, I put that in the right. <laughs> the slow shifting sounds of something falling somewhere in my house. Yep. Relic amulet. Thundering rebuke. Well, I'm very happy that, um,. That Lava Coil got to stay in standard. And the rare is... Huh. Luminarch Aspirant. This is this is uh, very much reminds me of a Hearthstone card. That's, that's even kind of what I said when I um, first saw the spoiler. In this very beautiful mountain. This, I, the Zendikar Polars are probably, in my opinion, the best. Um... The, the, the new uh, Theros full arts are too too different. They're not bad. They're just not kind of what I wanted with like full art lands. Okay. 
cats. Molten glass, that's nice. Cleric of Life Spawn. More for the Cleric Tribal sub theme. Mind Carver. Goma Fade Vanguard. And the rare is Spalakut's Awakening. For those who want to wheel and deal. What's it do? Um, it's a it's a wheel. You have it in your Niv deck. Oh yeah, I do. Um, but you can play it as a land. And you it's probably one of the best wheels they printed in a while. Um, and a very, very pretty, uh, Mr. Himbo token. Mr. Himbo. Dr. Himbo. <coughs> My favorite thing is, uh, giving animals honorifics they have not earned. You don't know that. Maybe he's burning the midnight oil specifically to go get that PhD. Did you know midnight oil is a magic card? No, I didn't. It's bad. It, how bad is it? <laughs> Um, it's at the beginning of your turn. It is about wait. It is a battlefield with seven oil counters on it, and then yeah. at the beginning of your upkeep, um, you get to draw an extra card or something, um, and then at the beginning of your instep, take two counters off of it, and your maximum hand size is equal to the number of counters on it. I, I hate that. <laughs> It, it was a weird card. I opened up a bunch of them in Kaladesh Standard. Did you burn them? I uh, know, but that would have been funny. We'll find them and we'll burn them. Sure. Uh, Lithoform Blight. Uh, two mana enchant land. When Lithoform Blight enters the battlefield, draw a card. Enchanted land loses all land types and abilities. And has tap add colorless and tap pay one life add one mana of any color. Interesting. That's a, that's a strange card. But I like it. Alright, last common. Skyclave Cleric. Oh, we got a mythic. First mythic. Of the oh, time. hot. Uh, Lithoform Engine. Beautiful. What's it do? Um, it does a lot of stuff. Um, uh, basically, it lets you copy um, abilities on the stack. You can pay two and tap it to copy target activator and trigger ability. Uh, you can pay. Three and tap it, copy target instant or sorcery, or you can make four and tap it and copy target permanent spell. And you get a copy of that permanent. And we got the Vastwood Fortification as a foil. Um, it just looks very pretty. In this island. It really does. I, I would run, I would bat, I, I, I was almost considering running Vastwood in my um, CEDH deck. Just because it's, um, I can play it as a counter spell, or a spell that puts counters on, uh, and as an extra line if I need it. Uh, C4 Stalker, Stalker Resolute Strike, Arden Electromancer. And see my beautiful Cat Scratch hands. I did my nails, and he's next. Yeah. All right. They okay. have <gasps> so cute. What'd you pull? They can't. Nothing. It's just a cute card. Uh, Canyon Jerboa. It's a, a three mana one two. Whenever I land into the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. He's a cutie. Is a he's a mouse. Looks like a kangaroo rat. Cute. Rudescent horn beetle. Oh, that's cool. It costs five mana though. Another vast fortification. That's our last on common. And then uh, Mall of the Sky Cleaves. Or Claves, I'm sorry. Uh, nice equipment. It's, it's like, um, this is a reference to uh, Angelic Destiny. Um, which was basically the enchantment aura version of this. This is the artifact enchantment version of Angelic Destiny. Mm. Pretty planes.
There's always there's a lot of fun cards. Zendikar is like a really good. All, all of the Zendikar sets have been pretty good. Not gonna lie. Soul Shatter. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Oh. A creature or a planeswalker with the highest converted mana cost among creatures and planeswalkers they control. Um, yeah. This is a good all around removal spell. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, another foil rare. Felidar Retreat. Uh, landfall. Whenever our land enters the battlefield under your control, choose one. Make a 2 2 white cat or put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control. This creature's getting vigilance. That's a nice one. Do you remember that excellent video by Rustic Studies about uh, card frames? Uh, yes. I feel like there were some new card frames that were introduced after that. Am I wrong? Yes. Uh, so so right now with the new set, each card gets its own special character. Starting since like a few sets ago, each card is, each set has gotten like cards with special card frames. Uh, starting with um, starting with what's it called? Uh, Throne of Eldraine. Cards have gotten special sets. Or special um, frames. It's very pretty. Yes. I mean, I mean, when I have to make, if I if I ever remake the cat deck, I'm gonna need to put that in it. Have a, have they made a card frame as bad as the ones they had for what? What's that? Was it? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get. Yeah. Uh, no, not yet. Because most of the most of them are still like this. You can read them. <laughs> Um, I, I opened up a few invocations. I've sold most of them. I only have, like, one left. I don't know about you, but, like, I largely can't read my opponent's side of the battlefield anyway. I know what all the cards do. I, it doesn't bother me as much as you'd think it would, but, like, it does bother me when I can't read it when I need to be able to Crack read it. plate, Maloth. Big old green creature. What are you... Um, Ooh. big old can't be can't, big old fuck you control player. Um, seven mana, six, six, can't be countered, hexproof, haste. Pay three more to give it uh, plus four, plus four. So just, you just tell big old fuck you control. Another dog, the good boy. Uh, wizard. Wind Rider Wizard. Oh, Moss Pit Skeleton. I remember seeing this. Uh, Moss Pit Skeleton was kicked. There's about for three plus some scanners. Interesting. Uh, Coom Warrior, we're not gonna. That's our double face card, and. Wah. Ooh! What do you got? Uh, another Mythic, this time alternate frame. Uh, yeah, this is one of the cards I wanted to slap into, um, uh, into my Naeth deck that I've been working on. Uh, Morag, Fury of Akum. Uh, each creature you control gets plus one plus zero for each time it has attacked this turn. Uh, Landfall, whenever land enters the battlefield under your control, if it is your main phase, there's an additional combat phase after this phase. At the beginning of that combat, on tap all creatures you control. It's gonna sound incredibly corny, but the artistic designs used in this card art are fucking hot. Yeah. This beautiful green hazy swamp. But all the, all the swamps in Magic are, are the best ones. Always have like floating mysterious gases, whether they be green, light yellow, or purple. Gases are just what make a swamp. It's the gases and the gators. Yeah. Ordinate rage. She's got to spell used to be one mana. Another cat. Cute. Bigger dog. Cute. Tuck tuck rumble for it. Uh, I'm Umara Mystic flying. Whenever you cast an instant sorcery or wizard spell, it gets plus two plus oh. Uh, we Dragonauts esque. Power out of this trigger. At last, I'm coming. Jawari Disruption and Archpriest of Iona. Um, oh, this one's not bad. 
Um, Archpriest Fire's power is equal to the number of creatures in your party. As being a combat on your turn, if you have a full party, target creature gets plus one swing and flying until end of turn. Oh, Jesus, another foil rare. I think this is like the third one. Uh, Tajiri Paragon. This card is actually pretty sweet. Um, this is, this is probably like one of the best elf commander cards. Um, in a while. What's it do? Um, okay, so it's a two mana three two, so already really good on curve, especially for an elf. Um, in addition to being an elf, it is also a cleric, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. Uh, when you play it, you can pay three, um, and if you do, when it enters the battlefield, you look at the top six cards of your library, and you can put a card that shares a creature type with it from among them into your hand. Um, if I, I wish I could turn, uh, I'm gonna take a look at this very pretty planes. I'm going to take a look at our polls real quick. I want to count how many foil rares we've got. Yeah. That's one, two. We, I got yeah, I got three so far. That's that's kind of odd. Usually, it, like, I, I usually average one per box. It's because Yuri molested the booster box first. Well, I hope I get, like, something sweet. You know what? I, I hope I open the... Um, I personally, since, since Yuri blessed it, I hope... Um, in the uh, what's it called pack, the, what is this thing called? Threw it over here. The the box cover. I hope it's the uh, the burn willows I want. It's that's like um, I already have really sweet expedition lands for my commander deck. So like the only ones I don't have are like a sweet wasteland or a sweet burn willows because the old burn willows art is not great. Uh, Belly get recovery. So no flip rare. Oh, I don't know what this does. Uh, Zareth Sand, the Trickster. Five mana, four four with Flash. You can pay four, return an unblocked attacking rogue you control to its owner's hand, and put it onto the. Oh, it's got Ninjutsu. Um. When Zareth Sand does combat damage to a player, you may put target permanent card from that player's graveyard on the. Middle. Oh, it, it's fucking. <laughs> it's Ink Eyes. It's what? That's really funny. It's 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 ink eyes with flash. That's wild. Uh, ink eyes servant of Oni, the sexy furry rat. Oh, the one that you have the titty statue of. Yeah, the one I have the titty statue of. Um, but it's ink eyes, but blue and black. I can't remember the last time I've seen that. And, and hey, you know what? It's just as bad as ink eyes in Commander. I would like to argue hotter than ink eyes, but. Love you. It's flash and blue that automatically makes it hotter. How? You know how ugly and wet he is? That's exactly what I want. I love land destruction spells, but these... These are just rough. You love land destruction cell spells because you're a sadist. I know, but they're usually three mana and good, but this is two mana and bad. Define bad. Um, it actively works against Blood Moon as a card. Oh. How? How? Uh, it lets them fetch up basics. Oh, okay. Which actively just feeds the purpose of Blood Moon. Ah, because non-basic lands are mountains. Yeah. Uh, last on common. Oh, a myriad construct. Very pretty island. Very pretty Drake. Uh, myriad construct is such a strange looking artwork, but so just a fun artifact creature, I guess. Yeah, this is, this is be very strong in a, a regular game of commander. Faces can I always make that noise? It's making my toe my toes hurt. <laughs> um, negate with a cool art. I'm gonna save because I might need to throw it in the bait. A negate in, in the Nymphs deck. Uh, my Nymphs deck. It's just it's just a card that I have way too many copies of, and it's okay in Commander, and it needs more interaction. Uh. This is a weird card because there's, there's essentially a three mana version of this. Um, 
And it's yeah. Disenchant. Ooh, let's check out a few of those. Living Tempest. Turn Timber Aesthetic. Sky Clay Plunder. Oh, the sexy brush fire elemental. Very pretty. And then the adorable Tangled Florahedron. It's got a butterfly. Tangled Veil. And as it is, uh, the rare is Akiri, Fearless Voyager. Not expensive, but just a very good red-white commander. It's the equipment commander um, red-white needed all along. It's actually it's actually pretty sweet. Um, I'm thinking of building uh, equipment, but it's gonna be mono-white, unfortunately. A Cory sweet though, or Akiri sweet though. Alright. Alright. Go my the Vanguard. Scream. Scream. Relic Axe. Spring Mandel Cleric. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, Agadim's Awakening. And this pull another card. Um, this is the Black Mythic. Um, modular face, double face card. Uh, they're all X spells. And then, oh. He's got this beautiful mountain. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Um, the thing that makes them mythic is that, um, I should show the back, I guess. Um, is that they are lands in the back, but they're like bolt lands. You can pay three life to have them enter untapped. So... People have been playing them in uh, versions of Belcher in Modern and a weird version of Belcher in um, Historic, or not Historic, Pioneer. I don't know quite how the Pioneer version of Belcher works. Shudder's Cold Minotaur. Gore Blade Master. Song Mad Treachery. Oh, there is all the split current. Ooh, and the foil. Uh, Ardent Electromancer. All these red rituals. And the pretty swamp. Um, there is all the split current. Uh, is one of the. Well, it was and it kind of still is one of the commanders I was considering for uh, Yuri. Built him Ooh, sneaky. I wasn't paying attention. I was too busy, like, reposting. Yeah. Um, oh, that's hot. Yeah. It's a, it seems like a fun one. It's definitely my brand. What does it do? Um, I'll tell you. Um, uh, okay, so so it's got a really fun ability for a commander. Uh, it's a Hydra-esque type creature, so it has X in the mana cost. Uh, but instead of entering with X counters on them, it enters with an amount of counter counters equal to the total amount of mana spent to cast it. Ooh. Um, so you can just play it for two and it enters as a two two, um, and then it has whenever you cast a spell a, a, sp a spell with kicker that you've kicked, um, you can remove two counters from it to copy that spell, um, and if it's yeah it's basically it, it'll double your thing you just throw counters on it and it doubles all of your um, kick spells and a lot of kick spells are really good. A lot of the kick spells will put more than two counters on it if you double them. I've slowly developed enough of an attention span over the past, like, six months that I can pull off a strat like that. Mine Carver. Goma Theta Vanguard. Clawny Ambush. Ah, Aura Skyclave Hierophon. Steel. Oh, Broken Wings. I put him in the garbage pile. I've opened so many of this card already. I'd be so down to play Green Blue, too. Um, Cleric Tribal Commander. I am not very interested in Cleric Tribal Commander. I'm not very interested in White Black. Um, I have a, I have a growing fascination with White Black. I just really like life gain strats. Life gain is fun. 
the Shining Commander. There's some good. There's some good life hand cards, especially in this. Uh, then what turns you off about the Herakuten? Oh God! Uh, ma- mainly hero print, but um, I have uh, mainly because I've opened so many of him already, and he's not life expensive. Is it? Are there any clerics you're excited about? Um, not really. Uncommon time. Relic Axe. Roiling Regrowth. The very bad um, other version of that card. I can't remember what it's called at the time. Shit. Um, Skyclave Cleric and Shadows Verdict. Oh, hot. Too little, too late. Um, Ooh. The sorcery, this is the sorcery version of. Boy. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah okay. Um, this is the card that would kill Teferi, if Teferi were still in standard. Um, it's the, um, uh, uh, devour the meek, or erase the meek. Steal. Take it. Um, consume the meek, uh, version from original Zendikar. Uh, but it hits Planeswalkers too, and it exiles cards from graveyards. So basically this is like a, this is like the five mana blackboard wipe that answers, um, um, the Theros set in general. It's a shame. This card this card would have done really well against Uro if it weren't for the fact that Uro was too good. They really push like rogues, and I'm really glad they do. All the rogue stuff seems like very fun. Alright, back to Relic Amulet. Fireblade Charger. Uh, Ban Veil. And a uh, magmatic channeler. And we got a land. Okay. Um, this seems like it could be good. I don't know. How do you I, I really like two mana um, graveyard shenanigans cards. I like Grim Flare is one of my absolute favorite magic cards. Um. One of my favorite decks back in uh, Return to Innistrad, Shadows of Innistrad Center, was uh, Is It Machine Gun, um, which is which is a huge spellslinger deck. So I got like a week. I never played it, but I, I was too busy playing um, werewolves and losing, and then a few months later, too busy playing uh, John Delirium and winning. <laughs> I feel like as somebody who's played Nimbiza and Wasp since like the early, I guess we're calling them the tens. Um, I can't judge you for playing werewolves. You just oh. gotta do what your heart tells you. Oh, I fucking I did really good. I almost won my store championship with werewolves. That's that's some. That's the thing is I I, I, won, I almost won against the dude who was always super cocky, and then like next like three months later it was store championship time again, uh, and this time I brought a good deck and I whooped his ass. Uh, Wind robber, ravager is mace, uh, black lunar. Uh, the thing about it is, is you, you hear me get like a bit down. I'm looking specifically for the red green modular land uh and every time i see an uncommon flip card like this that means this is our flip card for the pack we're not gonna get a flip land and the rare is oh it's a lotus cobra ah uh, it's a normal one too neat uh i bet lotus cobra's a bit expensive right now i don't know how much um here hold this I'll yeah take, i'll take a yeah, my phone here so i can just check prices um i think it was a good idea that i chose this color pattern for my nails let me pull up my go-to. Um, You've got a lot of interesting green pulls. Yeah, green's my favorite color in Magic, so... Green is good. Yeah. I just, they, they've made uh, green way better in, in the last couple of years. I will totally admit, I would honestly probably be a green-blue player. I really like Merfolk. It's just Nipis that's so hot. Mm-hmm. Uh, normal Lotus Cobra is $7. Um, I have alternate art version of Lotus Cobra. And people keep telling me they keep opening up, like, foil Lotus Cobra. Like, they haven't seen regular ones. 
Like it's like it's always it's only the alternate art. I've had like multiple people tell me. It's next pack time. Buke, Kuma Warrior, and then here he's Lithoforming. Um, this card's not too exciting, but you could get some real hard landfall shenanigans going on with it. Could be fun. And another sexy swamp. It's a shame there's nothing we could pull that would make me lose my mind on stream. Yeah. 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 The box topper is the interesting thing I'm saving for last. Burn Willows. Yeah. Burn Willows will make me do it. Uh, Florahedron. Ooh, Linvala. I forgot she was in this set. What if you pull a Burn Willows and you're so excited that you just consume it instantly? <laughs> just swallow it. Um, what does she do? Uh, oh, she's the party uh, legend for this set. Uh, at the beginning of your combat on your turn, if you have a full party, choose target non land permanent and opponent controls. Until your next turn, it can't attack a block and its actual abilities can be activated. Sacrifice the wall, choose hexproof or indestructible, could you control game out ability? Um, she's playable um, for just being a 3 mana 3 3 with flying with a second ability. Um, but I guess this is technically icing on the tank. I wouldn't play her as, like. I think she would make an interesting commander, because I think it would be fun to have. Um, um, what's it called? Ah, the two mana instant a Johnny spell, on flinching card, something like that for um, as a commander. A taunting arbor mage. Relic Golem, Swearing Thought Thief, and Prop. Hogger Mauling. Oh, it's the kill spell. It's also a land. Hogger Brood Pit. This card's neat. This is a uh, very neat. Ah, I'm holding it wrong. Very neat. Uh, destroy Target Creature spell. But I always, it's always hard to throw away your removal. Especially just to play lands, but... The the alternate casting cost on that is just, like, way too hard. Spoils of Adventure. Candy Stampede. And Cargan Intimidator. And Spring Mental Cleric. Um, this is a callback to the classic magic thing of cowards can't block warriors. Which was, since, the, since there's a warrior theme in the set, it's really nice of them to bring that back. Um, coward isn't really... Uh, there's, there's a few cards with coward as a creature type, but not many. Um, ba basically, it's usually warriors let you make other creatures cowards, which is just a neat mechanic. Um. Yes. I had a thought about this. Um, okay, so cowards can't block warriors, is that like a rule for magic, or is that no, just it, only No, it's effect? always printed on the cards. Okay, so Every you... single card that, uh... There's like four or five different cards that have something to do with that, and they, they each say cowards can't block warriors. So if so, the ones with coward as a creature type have that. Um, no, not all the warriors. There, there's like there's like, well, okay. To be hundred percent honest, um, all of the I know I I think there's only like one coward in Magic, and he can't block anyway. So oh, okay. 
Um, his name is Norn the Wary, and he has this really fun ability um, where if, if anyone casts a spell or attacks with a creature, he gets exiled, and then he comes back at the next turn. Oh, nice. Um, Wary is one of my favorite character archetypes. Drink nowhere. Sproutling. Malachi Rebirth. Uh, Master of the Winds. Sphinx. Sphinx, Sphinx.